Hey everybody, I'm here, sitting here inside the tiny house, having my coffee today with you, because you know why? Because it's freezing cold, again, well, I mean, it's not, free. it's like 45 degrees, I think. Um, it's about 5.36 a.m., sun's coming up. Uh, chickens are starting to wake up, so I gotta go let them out. The little baby chicks have started chirping down there. Yeah, today I'm gonna show you the baby chicks. So let me go do some things, and uh, we'll have a look at these beautiful little creatures. What do you think, Papa? You ready to go out? <laughs> I think you are. Gonna let you out. You run across the street, take a dump on Mr. Lucas' property. He says he doesn't mind. <laughs> Here are my sweet new babies. I've already had to increase the door size because they're growing a little bit. But look at them. Yeah, I took this off, this little mat thing for right now. They're so sweet. Let's see baby number one. Look, look, I'll try and hold the camera still. Look it, it's like bobblehead. <laughs> it's sitting on my hand. You know what, if you raise a, a chicken from a broody hen, they're much more afraid of you. Look at this little fella, or girl, whoops, sorry baby. Look at this one, it's okay sugar, it's okay. I should have got the tripod for this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and I got two darker ones. Let's see you. Look it. They're already getting their little feather wings. They're getting feathers. Come on, let them see your pretty face. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get, get one, and show you its face. Hang on. Look at that face. Would you look at that face? Okay, chickens. Okay, chickens. This keeps this box so warm. It really does. And I'm glad. My solar's been holding up just fine. And I've got the uh, refrigerator going. They got food and water in here. Yep, they kick stuff into it. So everything is going great with these little babies. I did put a little cardboard over the top just to kind of extend this way a little bit. And I curved the corners because I don't want them getting down in there and getting smushed or getting stuck. Just throw a little bit of bedding over the top. Gives them a little bit more insulation. Yep, they kick it off all the time. And then this light, it does produce a little bit of heat. So they get a little ventilation out here. And this lid doesn't fit perfectly over the top. Hang on, I need to fix something back here just a little bit. Let me push this back. There we go. Yep, that's it. And then this fits over here. I just kind of curve it around and then I do put this top back on and it keeps them nice and warm so that they'll come out and play and there is a little gap so they're still getting plenty of ventilation but it stays nice and warm in there this is working out great just wanted to show you the kitchen upgrade what do you think those are that is one pillowcase cut in half and all that I did is I got velcro that has stickies on both sides and velcroed it on, that's all I did, and it's working great. That way I don't have to look at stuff underneath of there, I don't have to look at the propane tank, and this is perfect. I can pull it out whenever I need to access the stuff in the back. Yes, my floor's dirty, I literally live in a barn, and I did get a Red Tractor Supply Company bucket, so it looks a little bit nicer underneath of there. Got the lid, cut a hole in the top, and my sink drains perfect. Then over here, I just went ahead and put this right here. Oh my gosh, my floor. Um, it's working out okay. And for a nice touch, I put this little basket up here. And I keep my little things. Oh, I want to show you something. Look at this. You know these Emeo energy drinks? I found something at my local market that is basically the same. And it's made by Best Choice. It's only a couple bucks. So I got a bunch of those. And I just keep them right here and put these pretty little things right over the top. And it looks lovely. I just got back from Tractor Supply Company, got a bunch of soil and got some more bins from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna do some planting. Today's goal is to fill up as many of these empty containers as possible and plant stuff in them. I got all but those three pails planted. Let's see what I did. I finished all of the multicolor peppers that's all of these, red, white, and blue theme, yes. And I transplanted 
oh, let's see, one, two, three buckets of pole beans because they were doing poorly, so hopefully they don't die. And then I planted one, two, three cayenne peppers. Hopefully they will make it. We'll see. I didn't transplant that cayenne pepper because I don't know if you could see from here, but there are actually the startings of a couple of <sighs> Romeo. There's the startings of a couple of blooms, so I'm gonna leave that. This thing right here, I'm gonna pull that out. I just wanna see what the flower looks like. I'm just taking a little bit of a break right now, drinking my Mio energy drink, and I think it's a, a berry pomegranate. I can't remember which one, but it's it's delicious. Anyway, yeah, I got some stuff planted. I don't know that I'll do any more planting. I think I'm just going to stick with this. The area right inside, right outside the tiny house, all along that fence, gets a lot of sun. I think there's a couple things going wrong on this side of the tiny house where the Hugo Culture garden beds are. And number one, the sun issue. Um, during a good part of the day, there's a large swath right next to the tiny house that doesn't get any sun and rick from gnomestead railways he he pointed out something to me and um i may have said this before but I'm, I'm gonna say it again um he mentioned that rotting wood robs nitrogen from the soil i kind of knew that so i put already rotten wood down in the bottom you know and put leaves and other matter you know coffee grounds eggshells and all that kind of stuff too um but that one bed with the big tree logs around it, those are not completely rotten, you know, logs. They are currently rotting. So I lined my entire garden bed with something that is robbing nitrogen from the soil. So I'm surprised if anything will grow there, but I'm not going to expend a lot of water resources over there because I think I failed this year on that side of the tiny house. Next year, it's gonna be different. I'm learning from my mistakes. Um, I've got plenty of water, so that's good. Water is not gonna be an issue this year. But sun and using the wrong materials to actually build the garden bed. So yeah, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that soil because it's probably gonna be no good. I think what I will do is once, you know, things will grow or not grow or whatever, I will use that soil in dust baths for the chickens. And yep, I am in the process of separating the chicken yard. I am going to separate the leghorns because they are mistreating all the other hens. And it's even like when Romeo tries to mate with one of the other hens, all three of those leghorns will come over to that hen and peck at her while he's doing his thing. So, um, but I talked to my neighbor, my new neighbor next door, lovely family, um, husband and wife and four kids. They, they're building a, well, it's, it's a tiny house, but it's like twice the size of mine. And I think I've told you this before. They let me come inside and see what they're doing. And this guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> he totally knows what he's doing. Every single wall and ceiling is already insulated. Um, he's got paneling up. He's putting wood floors in and I think they may have moved in but they're still working on it So he came over today and asked if I wanted this cabinet, but I just couldn't use it um, So I asked him if he wants some chickens He wants some chickens bad and he's gonna get he's either gonna take some chickens that are already hatched out or Maybe take some of the chickens that are being hatched out currently or I'm gonna give him some fertilized eggs and let him use my I can't think when that rooster is doing that or let him use my incubator that I haven't fit, even fired up for the first time and he can hatch out his own eggs, but he's got to get squared away over there first. So I haven't checked on Mr. Lucas today. I'm going to go and do that in a minute. But before I check on Mr. Lucas, I did just want to point something out. Now there's some of you out there who really don't like the way that I'm doing things, or maybe you have higher expectations of me, or you maybe think I should have done something a little bit more creative, or whatever is in your mind for what I should do. Um, I just have to tell you, you know, I don't know that you will be very happy here, because I do things very simple, very basic, and I, I use what I have on hand, and I do things the way that I envision they need to be done. They may not coincide 
with what's in your head, but this is my homestead. This is my resources that I have to be able to use. So I need to be able to do this for myself and not for anybody else. And inside that cabin, it's not going to be better homes and gardens. It's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be pristine. You will not find symmetry on this channel. You will not find um, order. You will not find perfection. You're going to find many flaws both in myself as a human and the things that I do around this homestead because I'm still learning, number one, and I'm using the resources that I have. So if you're disappointed in me um, as a recent commenter, let me know that they were. Um, you know what? That's, that's on you. I don't care if you're disappointed in me. Not at all. Because I am very happy with what I've accomplished. And I have accomplished things because of many of the wonderful people who have donated to the channel. Um, have signed up for my Patreon, have watched my videos and left me wonderful comments and have been voting on other people's comments and responding to other people kindly, you know, and, and, and all the wonderful gifts that I've been sent that have been helpful on this homestead. I am here today because of all of you, but please keep in mind that the vision for what I've got going on out here is my vision and sometimes I may be a little pedantic I may take a little bit more time than others would to kind of figure things out and decide what they want to do because I don't come from this kind of background I don't have a building background I don't have a chicken background I don't have background in anything basically that is required to be able to be successful out here nevertheless I am experiencing a certain amount of success and that's because I'm doing things the way that my mind tells me to. So, you know, if you want perfection or symmetry or order or better homes and gardens, you're not going to find it on this channel. <laughs> you're just not. Okay, that diatribe was way too long and drawn out. I'm going to go check on Mr. Lucas, but this video has to be done. I try and keep him under like 10 minutes, but this is already like 12 minutes or 13 minutes. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.